Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Today I thought I would do a little experimenting with some of my alcohol inks. I wanted to see what kind of reactions and what kind of backgrounds I could create by using some of my alcohol blending solution, regular um, alcohol that you can find in your local drugstore, and then I also had this Purell um, hand sanitizer on my desk which has alcohol, and I thought I would give that a try as well just to see what reactions I could get. So the first thing that I did is I took one of my little um, Ranger spritzers and I filled it up with the uh, alcohol ink that you can find at your drugstore. And that way I can use some spritzing and uh, see what kind of reactions I get in my experimentation. All right, so the first thing that I did is I got a uh, eight by 10 piece of glossy paper and then I got my alcohol blending solution and I just simply added it to my paper. And then I just added some drops of alcohol ink. Now the one thing that I've noticed is your alcohol ink dries really quickly. So when you have um, dots on your paper, if you don't move it pretty quickly, then you're gonna end up with big dots on your paper, which is fine. It makes for a nice um, colored background, but if that's not the look that you're going for, then you're gonna need to make sure that you um, move that color fairly quickly. So the next thing that I did is I took my Purell hand sanitizer and I poured that onto my cardstock. Now this sanitizer is a little bit thicker than your normal alcohol. And when I added my alcohol drops to it, it moved really nicely. Um, it was able to drip down um, and it gave me some nice results. I really like the results that I got here. Um, I was able to move it without it drying and just giving me dots and it created for a nice grungy background. You'll also notice that in addition to using my blending tool, I have been using a bigger paintbrush. And this is because I wanted to see what different types of patterns I could get on my background. I really like all the patterns that I'm getting. And by using my regular rubbing alcohol versus my blending solution, I'm able to continue to move my colors. Now, if I were to add my blending solution, it does dilute the colors a little bit and that's not really what I wanted to go for. I wanted just to keep some moisture on my paper just to continue to move the color. Now I also thought I would go ahead and add some color to my felt um, as well as my blending tool um, and see what kind of uh, border I could create. Now at the end I wasn't really happy with this blue border but because I am going to cut down the cardstock, I wasn't too concerned about it. I could easily cut off some of those harsh colors, um, so I just kept moving along. And then I was able to add some of my alcohol blending solution just to tone down that color just a bit so it wasn't as bright. Now I also wanted to test my magicals on my glossy cardstock. If you recall in some of my other videos, the magicals react to water, so I wanted to see how they would actually react using alcohol. Now, unfortunately, they didn't react as well as I would have liked them to, but by spritzing some water on, I was able to get some reaction. Now, the glossy cardstock didn't like that water too much, so if you are gonna use some magicals and spritz some water, I would just be really light-handed with the water. I did bring in my heating tool to dry off my cardstock, just because, again, that water did not react real well to my glossy paper. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit more experimenting. So this time I took my magicals and I shook um, some of the dust onto a clear piece of cardstock, and then I added the alcohol blending solution. And then I added some alcohol ink. I wanted to see what the combination would do, and I did get some sort of a reaction. As you can see, some of those um, lines that I'm able to move with my paintbrush are the magicals reacting. And the magical actually got into the bristles of the brush, so I was able to move some of that color and create kind of a uh, grassy background. All right, so just as I did with my first panel, I'm gonna continue to add and build my color. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some music, and then I'll be back um, as soon as I finish my backgrounds.
So once I was finished with my background, I did cut down my card panels to four and a half by six and a half, just so I can prepare it for some stamping. The image that I'm working with today is from Visible Image and it's called Teenage Kicks. And I also have another stamp set that I picked up uh, from Visible Image called Where Dreams Take You. And I'll have some pictures for you of the card that I created using that stamp set as well at the end of the video. But for my demonstration, I am gonna be working um, with the Teenage Kicks stamp set. Now this is a clear photopolymer stamp. And um, truth be told, I prefer to work with the rubber stamps, but Visible Image um, has some really great um, stamp sets. So I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. Now I probably should have been working on regular cardstock versus the glossy cardstock because number one, the stamp hasn't been conditioned yet. And you're gonna see that I'm having to stamp the uh, image several times. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work on my regular cardstock. Um, I'm gonna be giving that a try later on in the week. But for this image, I really wanted to work on my glossy, my glossy cardstock um, and have all those vibrant colors in the background. So even though my stamps were sticking a little bit to my cardstock, after several uh, stamps using my Misty, I was able to get a nice crisp image. The sentiment that comes with this set says stand out. So I wanted to go ahead and also add that sentiment. But I had the idea of adding some black texture paste um, and creating a uh, brick background. So I wanted to make sure that I kept the top part of my uh, card panel clear. And that's why I decided to actually move my sentiment down to uh, towards the bottom of the card um, rather than have it on the top background. The sentiment actually stamped a little bit easier than the uh, legs did, and that's probably because it was a smaller uh, stamp and it didn't have as much uh, area to cover. All right, so once I had my sentiment stamped, I went ahead and I pulled out my stencil that I wanted to use along with some uh, black texture paste. Now the texture paste that I'm gonna be working with today is from Dreamweavers. And I will have a list of all the products that I'm using to create this card at the end of the video. So I'll list um, the uh, embossing paste along with the stencil and the stamps um, with links to the stores. So I adhered my stencil down to my um, Ranger craft mat using some washi tape. And then I took my black embossing paste along with my uh, palette knife and I just simply spread the texture paste through my stencil. I wanted to make sure that I didn't cover my stamped image, so um, I was real careful to not get any of that black texture paste over my image. I also thought that the feet needed a little bit of grounding, so I did add some washi tape prior to adding my um, embossing paste. And then finally, I took a black distress crayon and I outlined my washi tape along with the edges of my card. At the end of the video, I will have a couple more pictures of some more cards that I created using the backgrounds that I created in this video. So for your convenience, I will leave a list of all the products that I've used to create the cards along with the links to the stores. If you've enjoyed the video, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up. And let me know which card is your favorite. I really like the results that I got using the Teenage Kicks um, with the colorful background, but let me know which one is your favorite. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. All right, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed some of my experimenting today with alcohol inks and that I've given you some ideas to create your own backgrounds. 
Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.